Next, we continue our inheritors of in the intangible cultural heritage series, where we follow our reporter Chi Jie to meet Zhang Xiaodong, whose handmade books have been exhibited around the world, including at the Six Codex Book Fair and Symposium in California. Zhang has also won the 25th Gold Bowl Award and the China Printing Brand Prize Gold Award in 2013. He calls his books Spaceships Through Time. For anyone seeing this for the first time, it's an experience that might be compared to going to Disneyland for the first time for a kid. Check these out. A long piece of paper is used as a foundation, and pages are pasted on it in a sophisticated order. When you roll the paper, it becomes a hand scroll, and when you open it, the pages tilt it up, fluttering when a gust of wind blows in. This is how Chinese depicted the dragon scale bound books during the Tang Dynasty. The century-old craftsmanship dates back more than 1,000 years. But back then, dragon-scale-bound books were reserved only for royalty and highly educated elites. 40-year-old Zhang Xiaodong has been working hard to resurrect this ancient bookbinding technique for 15 years. So, I call the book as a building of the building. It's a space, 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 it's a space. 感受它的材质，感受它的形态，感受它翻阅时的动感，甚至感受它翻书时候声音，闻它的墨的香味。所以呢，我把书汉称作是呢穿越时空的宇宙飞船，因为我觉得在那样的一个情景当中，就是一个独立的时间跟空间的结合体，在这里边我可以任意的穿梭。From paper making to movable type printing to the printing press. People have long received wisdom from the written word. Over 1,000 years ago, the dragon scale binding technique was a major breakthrough on the basis of hand scroll style, as well as a predecessor of modern books. That simple act of turning a page made all the difference in the world. Longli Zhuang's Ye Ling Si Xiang Chu's Nian Tian actually greatly shortened the length of the book. I'll give you a small example of this. 我做的第一部龙鳞装叫《龙鳞装三十二段金刚经》，那个作品呢，如果是手卷呢，它的长度要七十多米，但是如果把它做成现在的龙鳞装、龙鳞叶片的部分呢，只有四点六米左右，其实是一个极大的浓缩。但是就阅读概念来讲的话，它通过翻阅，它鳞丝相错凝固，它可以露出小小的文字的内容。这样的话，它会像一个检索的字典一样，它可以去翻动它。我认为它是一个工艺跟科学的进步。Today, Jan continues to cut and fold thin pages of a story into precise sheets and layers them on top of one another, as his ancestors did in ancient times. He carefully places chapters into frames, and together, scales are bound to form a complete image. And that's when the visuals come in. Because I think when we read books, we need to read the words first. We first form an image in our mind, form a space, 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 and then we can go through the words. It is very easy to understand the meaning of the words. 我开始试着在鳞次相错的脸口，我觉得这是一个空间啊。这个空间如果不用，就白白浪费掉了。虽然是每一条的话，可能也就有两厘米，或者有的是一点六厘米这样子，但是已经够了。比如说我们拼掉一百张、两百张的时候，也有也有很长的这样的一个一个空间了。我觉得这个够了，完全可以承载很精美的绘画。
In 2008, Down successfully completed his first brand new handmade dragon scale bound book, Diamond Sutra. 坦率的讲，那个时候只有一个感受，就是泪流满面。<笑>就因为做它的过程中，我用了两年半左右的时间，在这个过程中有无数的困难，就是有无数的坎儿，你可能都过不去了。但是，因为我的性格很倔强，就是即使失败了，我也要看到它的样子。Jiang Xiaodong revels in ancient cultural legacy. This gigantic eight-volume A Dream of Red Mansions is another surprise Jiang gifted to the world. It's called Jinglong bookbinding. Jing refers to the menstrual fold used in temples in the Tang Dynasty, and Long the dragon scale bookbinding. Inspired by three ancient elites in Chinese history, Jiang combined the two binding styles into one. He, for this book, started to write one by one, one by one, to cut cut hundreds of thousands of pieces of wood, and then to cut them into this book. So, compared to them, I think that four years of work is too short. You think Cao Xueqing actually wrote his life and saved the Dragon Scale. So, as a result, he was able to cut the Dragon Scale into 120 pieces of Wood. 那个松温呢，用三十八年的时间绘制《红楼梦》，所以每一个人都把它做到了极致。所以对于我来说，其实我只是把他们请到大家的面前喝一个下午茶。<笑> That would be a super cool cup of tea, with a beautiful sense of romanticism. I give it a try to experience the joy of the ancients for the first time, turning the pages of a dragon scale bound book. Like the zero and one in binary, the original code for constructing the virtual world, words or images were historically seen as the original code of people connecting with nature, and these particular codes have led Jiang Xiaodong to a whole new 2.5-dimensional world, where dragon-scale bookbinding meets contemporary art.